down until your neck of the woods rip. One thing for sure. That's right, we drop hits. Tell me how nasty can you get all the way from the hood to your neck of the woods rip. One thing for sure. So I'm going to prime my face with the Sephora Mattifying Primer and I've already done my eyebrows as you can see. So now I'm taking the LA Girls Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I'm just applying that to my under eye. I'm not going to be doing too much highlighting and contouring today. So I'm just going to use this one highlighter because it's pretty close to my skin tone and hair. I'm just blending it out as usual. So now I'm going to apply my foundation, which is the Cover FX foundation in the shade N110. So I just like to dot it all over my face, and then I use my flat top e.l.f. powder brush to buff it out. I'm going to set my under eye area with the black opal setting powder, the Lux setting powder in the shade medium light. This is the most that I'm doing. I'm not going to be baking. I'm just setting my under eye area so that my concealer doesn't crease. Now I'm going to set my whole face with the Sephora Collection Baked Powder. So now onto the eyes, I'm going to use my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to start off with the shade Burnt Orange and I'm going to be using that as a transition shade. Better you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on more. And if I don't let you know, then I won't be Now I'm going to take Cypress Umber and I'm going to smoke my eyes out just a little bit. This eye look is going to be really simple, so I'm only using three shadows. So I'm just going to continue to smoke it out and wrap along to Little Kim. <laughs> now I'm going to use Warm Taupe from that palette, and I'm going to apply that to my eyelids. I'm, I'm using this one because when I looked at all the throwback pictures, the eye shadows looked really ashy but still smoky. So that's why I use this color combination. Now I'm going to smoke out my under eye area with Cypress Umber. <laughs> So now I'm applying some mascara and I'm going to put my lashes on off camera. So now I'm going to go in with my blush, just adding a little bit of blush to my face. Um, they always looked really, they always had blush but just light natural blush and that's pretty much it for the face. So. You know, to finish off, I just put on some lip gloss with NYX Chestnut Liner and some of my Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Danny. Just for that glossy lip. And that's pretty much it. I love this look. You can do it like every day, on a regular day, or if you want to do like a throwback look as well. Now you can turn this into a nighttime look as well. I added a dark glossy lip to it because back in the 90s, I noticed they did do like some dark glossy lips like late 90s early 2000s they did that as well so i just added a dark glossy lip if glossy isn't your style matte works as well and that's pretty much it